Hi guys, a little information video for you um, about setting up a salt water aquarium. Okay, first thing is working out how much salt to put in the water. My days, I've looked everywhere and I could never find an exact amount to put in. Right? Okay. So what I did is I went to Maidenhead, bought the salt, the coral sand, obviously the inert rock. They can't sell live rock anymore because apparently people have been having little pest problems and they don't want they wash their hands of it which I can completely understand. So basically, I'll explain in a minute on how to bring that rock back to life. It's really straightforward. Um, anyway, so basically what you do is you have to work out how much salt you need. So you work out what type of fish you want, what type of corals you want, etc. So I'm going for more like the Nemo style things. So I've got kids, they love that. So clownfish, regal tang, etc. and a puffer fish, right? So basically, I need 36 grams of salt per one litre, okay? So I've got a four foot tank, right? And the tank is 400 litres, so it's 100 litres per foot. So you can work that out, it's about 14.4 kilos of salt needed. It seems like a lot, but it really isn't. It's perfect amount. It's the, the salinity and everything is perfect in that. Um, but the next stage is bringing that inert rock back to life. Now, what I did is I've been looking around, trying to find information on it. And with the help from, obviously, the guys down at Maidenhead have been brilliant. Um, basically, they put me on to a couple of things, this stuff. So the first thing is the Fluval Biological Enhancer. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, relatively cheap, about 20 odd quid a bottle. But basically what you do, it says day one dose, 25 mil per 40 liters. So if you've got 400 liters, that's 250 mil. Uh, and then day two, a further 10 mil. So that's 100. Day three, another 100 mil, for, you know. Then dose weekly, at five mil, so that's 50 mil per 40. After you've done that, after about two weeks, your rock will start to go from white to like a brown color. Basically, that means that bacteria is taken to it, life has started to blossom on them, which is brilliant, it's what you want. Then you hit it with this stuff, okay? Now, I'm gonna warn you, this stuff is called um, Salt and Fresh Microbe Lift Special Blend, okay? This stuff is like a bomb going off in your tank, all right? It stinks. All right, I put it in today for the first time and it literally stinks the house out. It's really strong, okay? But basically you work it out, so it's done on a seven day peer, seven day gap, okay? So basically, sorry about my phone guys, but it's a bit blurry, I'll see if I can get it to unblur. But basically 25 mil day one, dose per 100 liters, okay? So that's 100, 100 mil, right, for your first dose. Then it's 15 mil on day eight, 15, 22, and 29, okay? So basically that's seven day period, seven day gap between each one, okay? Then after that, it's a maintenance dose every two weeks, but this stuff, it reeks. It smells like sulfur. It's a, basically, it's a biological e ecosystem in a bowl, right? This stuff will literally, well, be the best thing since sliced bread for your tank. You can even use it in, with uh, fresh water as well. Um, it eats algae, it breaks down unwanted waste products, etc. But what I'm doing is I'm actually using it to stimulate growth for, for the live rock, start producing corals, and obviously when I put corals in there to help with them as well until the fish go in, obviously, then you can sort of reduce the dosage to 7.5 mil every two weeks once they're in there, the corals will feed off this stuff. But yeah, guys, I just thought I'd give you a little helpful video. Um, also, optimum temperature if any of you guys want to know if you are going to do um, uh, clownfish, regal tangs etc in a dory tank is 26 degrees okay um, with corals especially they can be very temperamental from what I've heard uh, and um, basically any sort of fluctuation by two degrees in temperature can kill them so once I get my ch um, marine chiller um, I will go for all that at a later day later video but yeah guys I will do a regular sort of two weekly blog to show you the progress of my tank okay guys thanks